One way you can use that to your advantage is think carefully about what that large scale assessment looks like and does it give the right kinds of signals to teachers about what's important and can they prepare their kids to do well on those assessments without um, uh, doing some of the uh, things that we know are the detrimental there and then helping um, classroom teachers see how they can um, use that kind of signal to um, build uh, formative um, assessments in their classrooms that help their kids um, move towards mastery on those standards as they're expressed either at the state level or school or, or, or district. Okay. Um, I think the theme through all of the different uh, panels I sat on and the keynote speakers is providing the opportunity, uh, providing an opportunity for someone to, to have a voice um, is going to be more beneficial than, than preaching to them and sitting in and standing in front of a um, you know, a class and just giving a lecture, um, the more that you can engage them and, and engage their creativity is going to provide the inspiration, I think, that that we need to to, to help people succeed. I totally agree with that. I, I always look at um, correlation with sports, and in order to go from t-ball to little league, you have to be able to throw and catch and maybe hit a little bit, and, you know, it works its way all the way up till you get to whatever level you're going to get to. But then you realize 10 years after you stop playing baseball that it's the teamwork and it's the coaching and it's all the other things that you were not even aware of that are what you took away and created the foundation for who you can become later. So I think in the classroom it's got to be exactly the same. The brain activates with more action activity and applied learning. And so this is sort of a back and forth of massive national testing on one side and what is deep and real learning on the other side. So, so Teachers who now are teaching to the test, teaching to the test, may not have those same opportunities they would have maybe uh, wished they had or had more passion for in bringing students to the, the joy of, of, uh, of learning. And I think that we have forgotten that learning needs to be relevant to students. And they need, the only way to engage them is to get to know them and find out what makes them tick and what is going to interest them. I would like to see a lot more balance. If we're, if we're pushing for the 21st century skills of collaboration and creativity and critical thinking and communication, we need to give kids an opportunity to do that. And if all we do is teach to the test, we're never giving them an opportunity to do much of anything. 